pretty much got this piece of leather worked down, but I can get one more belt strip off of there, uh, inch and a half in width. I've got a hook, a quarter inch hook right here on the corner of my bench right here. And I've got a couple of holes here. I'll put that in the that hole right in the center there. And I've got my splitting gauge set just under it, inch and a half. And I can cut my belt strip in this manner by myself. This is like a antique vintage leather splitter right here. Um, I think I've been using this uh, since about 1981 and it's very old and it looked just about like this in 81 so I figure this thing's about a hundred years old and I use it to thin down my belt blanks and then the turn back end of a belt blank, I thin it down a little thinner actually. As you can see right here, I've got a C.S. Osborne uh, leather splitter and it does an excellent job also. You can pull it through uh, several times to get it to your desired thickness. I've got that worked down. Well, that'll be just about right for the uh, turn back end of the belt. inch and a half strip off of here for a belt blank. And got my splitting gauge set where I want it. Cut an inch and a half belt blank here. Kind of work this around where I can get a strip off of here.
Yep, that should work for what I need there. This is my C.S. Osborne leather splitter. It does a pretty good job. The blade is easy to sharpen on this particular one. As long as your leather is not too stiff, um, you can kind of work it just a little bit. If you happen to run into a real hard spot on your leather, sometimes it will uh, uh, kind of go on down and cut it too thin in, in some places. So uh, let's see how it works on this strip right here. This cuts somewhat different than my vintage splitter. Um, you put the rough side up, the flesh side up. It has an adjustment down here where you can set the thickness. And it really does a real good job. That's perfect for what I need. This is a youth belt for young men. And uh, doesn't need to be super thick or anything. All right. 